Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Leo, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Leo. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. I repeat that, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Uh, you can also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. Okay, a bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Leo, let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself. So I think we're good. But we have we have the six of swords, Leo. Okay. We have the world. Temperance, which can be that of Sagittarius. Ten of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. Five of Wands. Four of Swords. At the moon, you really, <laughs> Leo. First off, what I, f I feel like you're on a journey here. It feels like you've been on a journey of transformation here, a very spiritual journey. Okay, Leo, you've been through a lot of healing. You've been, you've been working on yourself and been awakening yourself, right? You've been creating here. All right, but what I feel like is being brought forth into your world here with this moon. Okay, Leo? This moon, right? What's being manifested here? I feel like there's a person here being manifested for you, all right, or they're manifesting you either, whatever here, but it feels like strongly that they could be a Sagittarius, and this has came out in your readings before here, all right, it feels like you can have this Ten of Cups with this person, like the happy family, the happy relationship, the happy marriage, you know what I'm saying, this is what's being manifested with this egg moon here, you see those eggs, the moon, all right, maybe they have some sort of air placements in their chart, Leo, or you do, maybe you both do, it feels like you both could actually, that is what I feel for you. This is what spirit is gifting you. See that? We have the moon in the background and we have the dove. Alright, maybe you're already receiving like messages of this. This person's connected with both the sun and the moon. It feels like they're in like perfect balance here, perfect harmony here. They're very like spiritually connected as well with these rainbows. That's like the rainbow bridge. Like very very connected. Okay. This is someone that you will feel very strong connection to, is what it feels like. We have a Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Wands, which is that of Fire, and the King of Cups, which is Water, and the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups, Four of Wands, Five of Pentacles, we have Judgment. Like I said, I feel like this is something that you're bringing. I feel like this is something that they're bringing. Like, it's you're both, whether you're aware of this or not, but you're both bringing each other in towards each other. You understand? And Spirit is, like, opening that way for you. This is this promise here from Spirit, right? I also feel like you're, you're connecting more spiritually as well. Okay, because you do have spirits here around you. All right. Now, with King of Cups, either you could have water placements or this person does, or they just get you in your feelings here. All right, but I feel like you're being shown the way. I do feel like you're being guided towards this person, but I also feel like you're being shown the way just in, like in general here. Okay, towards places that you need to be, things that you need to be doing. Being shown the light. Being spiritually led. Messages coming through. Some of cups with that white bird.
You have six of pentacles. Okay. So maybe this person can have some sort of Native American ancestry here, or you do, maybe you both do. Very connected. And the Prince of Wands. The Nine of Cups. You have the Sun, which is your ruling planet. Three of Wands. The Magician. Manifesting. The Knight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, which would be that of Earth. So maybe you have those placements this person does, or whatever. But what it feels like you are manifesting here. You're manifesting your wishes here. Dreams are coming true for you, Leo. Not in like, not only just this person, but overall your wishes, your dreams coming true. Look at that. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. This is like a soulmate here, Leo. This is springing to life. This is what's being manifested for you. Also, you're having that of abundance. You're having, like, overall happiness. Okay, Leo? Overall happiness, abundance, prosperity. There's balance here with the sun. Like, your, your life's going to be, like, really, really at a higher vibration here with the sun. It's being manifest. The Eight of Swords. Well, the Hierophant. This is interesting. The Knight of Pentacles. The Fool. And the Emperor. Alright. Seven of Swords. The Tower. The Chariot. Yeah. So Leo, what I feel like I said, you have a heavy connection of spirit, right? Where you're being led by spirit. What it feels it feels like spirit is opening the way for you, opening the door for you, removing those obstacles for you overall in your life and between you and this person here, right? This is something that's being manifested with this moon. Okay. You're here on the like the earthly plane here, wishing for this, manifesting, doing all this right here, connecting like meditating. Manifesting. It feels like spirit has heard you now, bringing this in. Removing these towers between you and this person, removing these obstacles here. Alright, strongly have this chariot spirit with you. Bringing this forward. It can even be a past loved one. Bringing this forward here. Okay? It's a bit unknown to you at the moment. Like, I feel like you feel it, but it's like... You don't know the, it, like all the process what's going through right now, Leo. Okay, but you do have these spirits here helping you with this. And I feel like overall, just helping you in life, Leo. Like I said, it feels like obstacles are being removed out of your life. Wishes are coming true here. Alright, so it feels like you're in your element here. We have strength at the bottom of the deck. So let's get some ruins and charge yourself. We have Virgo, so you got those placements, one around you, we have this Egyptian snake goddess here, we have the green man which you're connecting to. Now, let's see what else we have. We have you being protected, we have, yeah, we have abundance coming through, like I said, there's material abundance, prosperity, properties, we also have that of fertility there, Leo. Things becoming more flow. You understand, like, that stagnation is over more flow. Things are opening up for you. So have for you and like i said first link in description down below for a personal reading let's go to my etsy shop go in there go buy something really appreciate that if you want to see more content don't forget to like subscribe bye guys